Hello everyone, I'm glad to share our paper with you here. This presentation consists of five parts, introduction, algorithm, implementation, evolution, and conclusion. And let's begin to part one. The sports metrics computation is widely employed in various complications, including scientific computation, network training, language process models, and so on. However, calculating sports metrics directly as a dense metrics represent a waste of computing power and storage. And the zero computation is mainly in time test. Meanwhile, sports provides the possibility of reducing the computational overhead and accelerating the computation. Systolic arrays are hardware structure built for fast and efficient operation for regular algorithms that perform the same task with different data at different uh, time instants. Besides systolic arrays with its regular structure, M5 vary and high frequency, reduce the amount of memory exercise. It also has high data reusability and a great potential to accelerate matrix manipulation and computation. But unfortunately, the regularity of systolic arrays means that supporting a flexible selection operation is most impossible. Beyond that, the flow in systolic arrays cannot be interrupted by selection operations. Therefore, the issue of how to support sparse computation in systolic arrays remains a challenge. And to support sparse computation on systolic arrays, some additional overhead, such as storage or controlled overhead, is necessary. It's most difficult to achieve a speed up or sparse matrix computation on systolic arrays with the same overhead. As a consequence, balancing execution efficiency and unchip resource is another challenge. A lot of work has made its own contribution for sports metrics multiplication based on systolic arrays recently. Sigma proposed a flexible and scalable architecture that offers high utilization of OSPE's regalos or cornership and sparsity. But the sacrifice made for this is a highly complex PE structure and layout. Besides, Quay and Wall propose an approach of packing sports convolutional networks into a denser format for efficient implementations using systolic arrays. However, its scalability is limited and it only supports integer operations. On the side, STPU also proposed a flying algorithm to efficient packet sports metrics by merging columns and a systolic array that employs condition execution to handle sports metrics. And the framework, the framework works well in sports metrics but applied by a vector, but do not cope well with multiplication between sports metrics. Overall, our aim is to design a concise and efficient framework for processing and accelerating multiplication between sports metrics. For challenge one, we propose offline and online sports packing method to condense sports metrics based on graph coloring problem and vertical queue respectively. We propose a low data flow and uh, config the process element optimized for one side and two side sports metrics multiplication on systolic arrays. For challenge two, we propose a fashion to adaption scheme to ensure correctness, efficiency, and performance on different resource constraints. And then, I want to share our idea with you. As shown in left figure, we calculate A multiplies B. Notice that the different colors do represent different rows and columns in the matrix. For example, the green represents the first row of matrix A and the first column of matrix B. After applying compression, the first and fourth rows of A combine to from the first row of new A, and the second row of A became the second row of the new A, and the third row of A is removed as it's made up entirely of zeros. Subsequently, new C can be obtained for a matrix multiplication with method between new A and new B. In the red figure, we map it to systolic arrays. We first divide the matrix B into two block matrix. 
This allowed the first B block matrix into systemic arrays. Subsequently, the transpose and uh, tattooed matrix A flips into systolic array in a step by step manner and uh, is calculated with B to obtain the partial result C. Next, the second B block is loaded and calculated the A to yet another partial result C. Next, we take example of the matrix multiplication method. First, the input matrix are represented in the format index data, as shown in the green frame. Additionally, the red is the row number of new A, and the blue is the column number of new B, and the black is the value. At step zero, new A is tilted and flows into historic arrays after new B is loaded and the P is. Subsequently, the calculation process progresses from the step 1 to step 4. At step 2, the first set of the output in UC is 433112, meaning that the value of the third column in the fourth row is 3, where the value of the first column in the first row is 2. Accordingly, we can restore new C to C at step 4. Um, the calculation is com completed. We implement the sports packing algorithm in two different ways based on fly and online scenarios. The optimum sports packing performance can be achieved in a fly scheme, a string in the left figure. Columns are abstract as a vertex site. We abstract a sports matrix into an undirected graph. We then divide the vertices into different groups of which they are not adjacent vertices. Our goal is to obtain the minimum group numbers. Accordingly, at this point, we have transformed our issue into an optimal graph coloring problem. The red figure is the Venus cube. An online method to realize real-time compression. The VinQ maintains a structure sim similar to um, prior real TQ. During pre-process, each column will flow into VinQ. Each column flowing out of VinQ is more compact, which means that the density of nouns as a view in the metric is higher. In addition, VinQ is a pipeline design which blocks less data and has, has lower overall latency. We add the threshold into the input parameters. This threshold parameter controls the number of vertices in the group and the future times in when queue separ separately by adjusting the threshold, the correctness of the matrix multiplication in measure can be guaranteed on different other value sources constraints. That's what we need to solve the second challenge, a balance between efficiency and resources. In part 3, we should implementation of measure. The fig presents a view of the measure system architecture. We devise a 16 by 16 scale systolic array that interact with unchip global buffer, which in turn interacts with of chip HBM. Different from the precise historic arrays, we add two modules for pre-processing and post-processing between TPM and uh, global buffer. New PE and data flow will be depicted in the next slide. Actually, a sports matrix is difficult to compact into fully dense matrix. Therefore, the compressed matrix still has the other very valid data. To see if the power consumed by the P in the case, the other valid data will be forced not to flow into the compute unit. At this point, the P skips the calculation and just pass the data to the next adjacent P. A measure is able to support both input stationary and output stationary models. In the IS model, specifically, B remains stationary in the register file, and A and C flowing in and out 
horizontally and vectorly. The PE pro performs pass and compute function when both A and B announce their values. At this time, we concatenate the indices of A and B, then match the atom in C, and finally send the three matched values into the multiplied calculation unit to Ableton 3. On the other hand, we skip the computation function and pass A and C directly to the next PEs when one of A and B is zero. In similarity, C is preloaded into the register file in the OS model, and A and B flow in and out horizontally and vertically. And the left figure shows the flow with a P in the OS model, including the multiply add and delivery operations. And the right figure shows no computation operation will be performed when either A or B is zero. Though. In part 4, we evaluate measure from two aspects. Um, we implement measure in Verilog RTL and then use a comply to estimate the chip area and total power on the open source PDK. We construct comparison on GPU using the QSPOS library. The SGPU is the work of QLO and tabular systolic arrays with the mount of PE. And we use two metrics to decide to test a readily generated square matrix and real world sparse matrix from the suit sparse collection. On comparison ratio, Mather and STPU show separability in both data sites specific, specifically. In the left figure, Mather's offline scheme achieves a relative higher comparison ratio and the online scheme is comparable to STPU. In the right figure, the benefit obtained by the offline scheme and the online scheme are further close or even the same. The reason is that when the sparsity is high, the online scheme is also easy to obtain the optimal solution, which is consistent with the offline scheme. As mentioned before, threshold is an important parameter that controls the trade-off between resources and performances. The leftmost figure presents an analysis of occupancy of an of a compressed matrix without threshold. And uh, nearly 80% of row in the compressed matrix came from the combination of four or six rows in the original matrix of a starting threshold to four. 95% of the rows in the compressed matrix are measured from four rows of the origin. And besides, the red figure is the result of virtualization. When the threshold is assigned to 2, 3, 4, 8, we can see that our range columns are compressed to the fair columns. Consequently, the higher the threshold, the higher the density of the compressed non zero value. And we perform matrix multiplication on TPU lex historic arrays and measure both arranged in two scales. From, this, from the experiment, it can be seen that it's easier to gain benefit by using small scale measure for metrics with low sparsity. More importantly, the computing time of measure is no longer higher than the baseline even at, slow, even at low sparsity. Besides, we test the performance of sparse metrics multiplication between GPU and measure. Measure maintains a static acceleration ratio at different metric scales, but CRISPR pro, 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 um, processes small scale metrics poorly. In general, the performance of CRISPR is poor, and it requires a lot of metrics and very high sparsity to obtain better acceleration benefits. However, Mesa will not yet a negative return in most cases.
And the following two tables entail the p-error and the power of hands or measure and the baseline accelerators in two formats. And the total error and power consumption of two scales on measure respectively. The overhand of the integer format is the result of the index register of the input matrix being comparable to the integer multiply. In float format implementation, the error and power consumption of the floating point multiplier dominates, so the additional registers, registers and logic can account for only limited overhand. And from the right table, we know the error and power of hand of pre-processing and post-processing module are very low. And in the last part, we have a simple conclusion. In this paper, we propose novel solution for sports metrics packing and computation, which satisfies both offline and online scenarios. We Extracts positive from sports metrics to reduce on chip storage overhead and speed up the performance of sports metrics computations. And that's all, thank you. More details can be found in our paper. And please send me a mail if you have any questions.